What is a legend? By definition, a legend is a story coming down from the past or a person or thing that inspires legends. The first definition may bring to mind stories such as the legend of Paul Bunyan or mythical figures like Bigfoot or the abominable snowman. But the second definition brings to mind real life figures like Jackie Robinson, Martin Luther King Jr. or the subject of this story, Chadwick Boseman. This is the story of a man who kept working hard until the very end and because of that hard work and determination will now forever be remembered by many. This is the legend of Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Aaron Bozeman was born on November 29, 1976 in Anderson, South Carolina to Carolyn and Leroy Bozeman. Growing up, Chadwick practiced martial arts, training that continued into adulthood and would serve him well for future endeavors. As he went into high school, he kept up his athletic prowess by playing basketball at T.L. Hannah High School. High school was also where his love of the arts began to flourish as he wrote his first play titled Crossroads a play that was written in response to the death of one of his basketball teammates who was shot and killed. Although recruited to play basketball in college, Chadwick decided to pursue the arts instead and attended Howard University where he would graduate in 2000 with a Bachelor of Arts in Directing. One of his mentors at Howard was actress Felicia Rashad who said that a group of students including Chadwick were accepted into the British American Drama Academy's midsummer program but could not go because they couldn't afford it. So Rashad called one of her friends who agreed to pay for the trip. That friend happened to be Denzel Washington, a gesture that Chadwick always remembered. Imagine receiving the letter that your tuition for that summer was paid for and that your benefactor was none other than the dopest actor on the planet. <laughs> I have no doubt that there are similar stories at boys and girls clubs and theaters and churches across the country where I know you have also inspired and motivated others. An offering from a sage and a king is more than silver and gold. It is a seed of hope, a bud of faith, there is no Black Panther without Denzel Washington. One of his first on-screen performances was as the character Reggie Montgomery in the soap opera All My Children. However, after Chappick expressed his displeasure with the character being written using racial stereotypes, he was fired and replaced with Michael B. Jordan. Despite a situation that you may think would turn into an awkward situation, it developed a strong friendship between the two actors which put Jordan into a more reflective state after the news of Chadwick's death. I always wanted to leave behind something that would last longer than my physical body would. So wherever that is, you know, um, that real impact. Chadwick would go on to fill smaller roles in several different shows such as Law & Order, CSI New York, and can be seen in the short film titled Love is a Fallacy. Most believe his big break came after he portrayed baseball legend Jackie Robinson in the movie 42. He later portrayed other historical black figures such as James Brown in Get On Up and Thurgood Marshall in Marshall. But his biggest break came when he was cast as T'Challa, more famously known as the Black Panther. The movie became a hit when it released in 2018, earning $1.3 billion at the box office and becoming the first superhero movie to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars and it seemed like the sky was the limit for the career of Chadwick Boseman until one day. Chadwick posted a video to his Instagram account with a noticeable amount of weight loss that worried many fans. Some believed it was just for a role, some were worried about his health, but some unfortunately also made jokes about his new appearance. The story would mostly go away over time as his movie The Five Bloods was released later that year in June. However, the story crept back up to existence after the tragic news that Chadwick Boseman had passed away on August 28, 2020 after a four-year battle with colon cancer. The news shocked both fans and fellow celebrities alike as many did not know Chadwick had the disease. This opened up even more eyes as it brought to light that while filming several of his movies, he was also fighting the disease at the same time. His death opened the eyes of many across the world. Because he was here far too short a time. Chadwick was a deeply kind and gentle person and very present and thoughtful. He's a historical figure as the Black Panther, but also such a good and decent human being. He just wanted to follow the guy into anything, you know. From the moment Chadwick stepped on screen, 
he just bought it. He was always grace and humility personified. I know that I ride the coattails of his success, that I stand on his great shoulders. How you held yourself will live on. Bozeman's last film, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, was released in December 2020, with the Bozeman's performance earning rave reviews from both critics and fans alike, and would culminate in the actor winning his first Golden Globe for Best Actor, which was accepted by his widow, Taylor Simone Ledward. He would think, Mr. George C. Wolfe, Mr. Denzel Washington, lots of people at Netflix. He would think Ms. Viola Davis, Mr. Glenn Turman, Mr. Michael Potts, Mr. Coleman Domingo, Ms. Taylor Page, Mr. Dusan Brown. And I don't have his words, but we have to take all the moments to celebrate those we love. So thank you, HFPA, for this opportunity to do exactly that. And hun, you keep them coming. Thank you. Chadwick Boseman should be remembered as a man who worked hard for what he believed in, shined a light on others, and allowed for a group of kids to see themselves as something even greater. Chadwick Boseman is, and will always be a legend, and although he has left this earth physically, his legacy is something that will be here forever. <laughs>